In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and use custom UI widgets in Unreal Engine 4. You can use UI widgets to display information such as scores and player health. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create and use UI widgets, add custom properties like health to player character and then use that property to render a health bar in a widget. We'll also use timers and events which are essential for almost all types of games. Also as your game grows big, your blueprints will start getting messy. Throughout this tutorial, I'll share helpful tips on how to properly manage blueprint code. I hope this tutorial will particularly be helpful for someone with programming experience but no prior background in game development. So let's get started. We'll start by creating a new project based on the first person template. The project. Let's start by creating a user interface file. So go to user interface and click Visit Blueprint. Let's name this Progress Bar UI. Double click on this file to open uh, Unreal UI Editor window. So this is the size of a screen and you can add components like Progress Bar, Images, Buttons uh, depending on your requirements. So we'll add a Progress Bar here. You can control how much the progress bar is filled using this percent value, but you can also bind this value to a variable. So let's go to graph and add a variable. We'll call it L percent, and we also want to make this public so that it is editable by other classes. Change the type of variable to float because uh, person has range from 0 to 1 and compile it so we can set the default value to something like 100% which is equivalent to 1. Compile and save. Then go to designer and now we'll bind this percent value. To our video and it compile and save. Now what we want to do is display this uh, widget into our level to do so click on blueprints and click open level blueprint. In level blueprint right click anywhere and source for begin play. Now create a widget by searching for root widget. Select class to the one we created. We want to set this return value somewhere. So here in the variables we'll say progress bar UI reference and in the variable type source for our blueprint which is this one we'll use the object reference and it compiled. So then drag this one here, get a setter and pass this return value here and click execute. So what this will do is create the widget instance and assign this to our local variable. Now we want to show this in our viewport. So select add to viewport and this will be done. Click compile, save and play. We can see the progress bar here. Let's say we want to decrease the health value by 50% when the game is start. To do so, go to blueprint and open level blueprint. Uh, right now the health percent is stored in our progress bar UI so we get that and get a reference to health. Once we have this, we want to subtract this by say 0.5 and then we want to assign this value so we can drag this again, 
get a setter and assign this value here to compile say let's see yeah it's okay now I'm going to show you how you can use timers in blueprints so let's say we want to decrease health only after five seconds the game starts to do so I click anywhere and search for timer by event and connect it here let's say we want to execute this after five seconds so five drag an event here create custom event let's name this decrease health event and when this event executes, it will set the health percent. Compile, save, play. Yeah, it worked. There are a couple of things you can do to make this blueprint a little better. For instance, you can start by selecting nodes and commenting them. To do so, once you select the nodes, click C and you can write comment for instance initialize once you do this, you can drag and reorder these nodes as if they were a group we can also refactor this event logic to separate event and the actual event handler to do so, let's start by adding a custom event name it decrease health percent and drag this over here break this link yeah and we can come in this decrease health by 50% or 0 0.5 and in this event we'll do call decrease health event percent and then comment these nodes so decrease health after Five seconds. Let's do this. Yeah, compile save. Still working. Ideally, we want to store the health value to the character itself. So let's open the first person character and we add a variable called health percent. Let's make this public so it is accessible by other groupings. Uh, so this is float, compile, and let's set default to 1. Now let's refactor our earlier code to use this new character variable. Start by getting reference to player character. Cast this to first person character. This is like type casting in normal programming language. And with this reference we get health percent. Also get a setter. We'll remove that and use this instead. And instead of progress bar, we use the variable from the character. Make this here.
inverter although we refactored this our wizard will not work because it still uses its own local variable for health parameter so let's fix that open our wizard blueprint uh, let's go to graph and remove this go back to designing and we we'll create a new binding so this function will be called every time the progress bar should update in here we get the character just like we did last time pass to first person character and get the percent compile save and we might have to open our character and set default initial value to something like 1 let's see it is not working right now because uh, we are using player 0 and we might have auto poses player set to disable so we want to set this to player 0 hit compile save and one thing to do is uh, it is easier to check these things if you run in the standard one mode so once you select that do play yeah we have the full bar and it is working thank you for watching this tutorial i hope it was helpful